Hi everyone, it is so good to be with you on this Friday afternoon. In his inaugural speech, President uh, Biden made a reference to what he called, and I love the phrase, our uncivil war. We've been mean-spirited, we've called each other names, and he was inviting us to treat each other with greater respect, kindness, uh, and generosity. As Christians, one of the things that we can do for our governmental leaders is we can pray for them. We can also write them letters, I suppose, of encouragement and uh, cheering them on when they do things that we think are good, as well as writing them uh, letters when we think they've done something bad. But we certainly can lift them up to God's throne of grace. In 1 Timothy 2, 1, 2, it says, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and who, for all who are in high positions. So we can help the atmosphere of our country, spiritually and emotionally, by lifting up both Republicans and Democrats in Washington and in Sacramento and throughout the land. And in our everyday relationships, we can practice generosity, show appreciation, and be positive and respectful at all times, and showing affection in every way. And yesterday was a perfect day to have in the last couple weeks that we've had. We needed the day that we had yesterday. It was National Hug Day. And this is such a great day to have as we can hug those people in our lives and be able to thank God for them. But in the midst of a pandemic, the physical hugs aren't there for those people that aren't in your bubble. You need to have those thank virtual... Thank you, Lord, that Adele's in my bubble. <laughs> You can have a virtual hug, and so if National Hug Day was turned into National Virtual Hug Day. So we invite you to virtually hug people around you. And give you. you virtual hugs over to, the internet. And to spread that love with others, that they might celebrate the relationship you have with them. May you be present. May you virtually hug. May you share the love of God. Have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Bye-bye. God bless you.